Hey everybody, I'm Dominic Armato, dining critic for AZ Central, and as popular as sushi has become, there's still an awful lot of confusion about what precisely constitutes fresh wasabi. Now, if you go to just about any sushi restaurant, 99% of them or more, you're going to be used to seeing this, the little dab of paste that's sort of stuck on the end of the board. Now, we call this wasabi, and we don't really have another name for it, but there's no actual wasabi in here. This is actually a canned product that you can get in any grocery store, and it's made with a different type of powdered horseradish that's usually mixed up with a little bit of dry mustard, and then for color, a little bit of powdered spinach or maybe green food coloring, so that it looks like actual wasabi. But it's not. It has a very different flavor. It's extremely spicy. It doesn't have a whole lot of flavor beyond that, that strong horseradish hit. Now, in some restaurants, you're starting to see what they're calling fresh wasabi, something like this. It's sort of like a pickly mix. You've got chopped up vegetable matter in there. It's got maybe a little bit of soy sauce, some other seasoning. Now, the thing about this is, this is actually made with wasabi, the real plant, but it's not fresh. This is a packaged product that's done ahead of time. It's a pickle. You can open up the bag and serve it whenever you like, which makes it easier and cheaper. Now, if you're talking about fresh wasabi, there's only one thing that that is. That's this right here. This is the stem of the actual wasabi plant. This is what is most traditionally used ground up into a paste to create what looks like this, but has a completely different flavor. It has a little bit of that spiciness up front, but then it has a much more fragrant floral aroma and flavor that kind of expands and fills your mouth. It's got a very different flavor, but it's in high demand, and that's the problem. All these products have their place. But the real wasabi is extremely difficult to grow, and as such it's in very short supply. Even if everybody could afford it, there isn't enough to go around. So, some restaurants have to use this. Now, this is a nice alternative. It uses the real plant. It has some of that real wasabi flavor, but it's also a lot cheaper. It's not quite the same thing. Technically speaking, if a restaurant has fresh wasabi on their menu, the only one that's telling the truth is one where you see the sushi chef standing behind the bar using this right here, grating it fresh as they make your sushi for you. I'm Dominic Armato for AZ Central.